Dave, can you tell me if that's yellow or green? It should be red. We're on right now. Okay, good. Yeah. <clears throat> Is that like the gold dress or blue dress? <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> it's sad that we all need that one too. I do. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was late. Oh. <clears throat> all right. This is something that I'm going to print out for you guys. I amended the agenda to include. The Rotary Club. I noticed Is that. Is someone they, here from the Rotary yes, Club? Yes, the gentleman is here. Yeah, we're going to look at it. Sure. Sure, we Sign in. Are you related to the health inspector? The Oxbow? Neither is she. She's not related. Really, yeah, there's a lot of dudes around. She was married to my, she was once married to my father's cousin. Oh. So it's not, it wouldn't have been blood anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Good response, hey. <laughs> You're absolutely right. That was right there. Oh, <laughs> I think you're used to it. Any word from Red? I talked to him today. He didn't say that he wasn't he, coming. He, yeah, I talked to him. He said he's coming. Hey, John. Good afternoon. How's it going? Good. I'm going to be shopping for another horse. When's the next auction? Not till August. August, okay. Oh, well, I'm going to go there and talk to them again. Because there are a couple that look good at the Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay. Well, the freak is all of a sudden. You got it. <laughs> You already have it. We have an amended um, I didn't print a copy. If you want a copy for each of you, that's I can go to that. We're adding, adding one more. 
Hi, Jason. How are you? <laughs> okay, so it's uh, five after five. Uh, can I get a motion to open our public meeting? I want to make a motion to open the public meeting. I second that. All in favor? Aye. <coughs> okay. So, first off, um, you stand for Rotten Gut? Good afternoon. How are you? So, Nikki, we've got two separate licenses because it's two separate occasions. Correct. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Just explain them to us. Uh, one's a, a benefit party to raise money to have uh, we entertain 20 uh, veterans that are from the VA that are sheltered there they don't they're not outpatients or anything so we're having an event to, so we can feed them dine them and let them go fishing by the by the water and play some games and just have a good time out because they they're shut-ins they don't they don't get get out very often they don't get out at all right and so they bust them down and and we just Wine and dine them. Well, no wine, no no alcohol that day, but let them go fishing and stuff. So the, the first, that's a benefit party so that we can raise money to do that. Right. And uh, and the, the other one is for our three-day spring fishing derby. Right. Okay. Any questions? No, because we were ready, you have your tip certified people. You yep. have a copy of that. We were ready to request it. Yeah. For years they've been doing this. Yeah. So. Um, then I make a motion that we approve the two separate licenses for the two separate functions for the rod and gun club. I second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any discussion? <coughs> no. No, it's open to everybody. That's why we're getting a permit, and it's a just ten dollar donation uh, for it, and proceeds go for the party for for our vets that are stranded there. 
They had a great time the last time there. Well, Karen was there. Yeah. Whose idea was it? Uh, a couple of our members, uh, George Allen and John Martelli. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we've been just hashing it out. It took us a while to, to do it, but it's, it's, it's an endeavor trying to get through to the VA because of all the paperwork and stuff. And they had to come and check out, check us out and verify that it was a safe environment and everything else. So and they had a great time. So, oh, good. you know, so it was put smiles on our faces as much as it did on theirs. So that's great. Fishing's not a bad thing. Thanks, John. Yeah, John, that's great stuff. <clears throat> okay. See you later, folks. Have a nice one. Good job. Thank you, John. Know when you're ready. Okay, so next up, <clears throat> special one day liquor license for Our Lady of the Valley. <clears throat> Someone here from Our Lady of the Valley? Um, I just want to go on record that I will sign this time, but this is the third time we've had a license come before us and nobody has been present to answer any questions. This is, and this came from a different source this time. This was not from the other ones. This came from Morgan Mitchell this time. He and he did say here. that he was going to attend. Yeah, he Why don't we is, table that for now? Yeah, he <clears throat> be here. Thank you. Okay, so then next item would be special one day liquor license for Rotary Club of East Hampton. Two separate licenses. Right. That's you. Why you come sit take a seat up here, please? So just give us an okay, the overview. First one is for our annual golf tournament, which is uh, the 9th of June, 19th of June. Benefits the people of East Hampton, basically. Okay. And the second one is for our annual lobster bake, which is uh, first Saturday after Labor Day. I think it's September 12th. 12th. Yeah. Okay. Those are the benefits. Questions? <coughs> Do they have, have they given us the people that are going to be foreign the tip certifications? The people that are foreign? It's the same people all the time. Christine, uh, <laughs> I can't tell you her last name. Christine the Bonnie. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, if, if, can, we get, yeah. can we get her tip certification? Is that something that you can get yeah. to me in the next few days? Sure. So just hold on to the, the licenses. I think just in the future, maybe just ask people for that when they put in their application. It's going to go on the um, letter. Okay. Any other? Ray, you have any? No, I have no questions on that. i make a motion that we approve the Rotary Club of East Hampton's two special one-day licenses. 
So next up, Michael Barr. Hey, how are you doing today? Hello. Yeah, okay. So just a couple things in regards to the property. I am behind schedule. Uh, winter was a little hard. The uh, concrete guy that my GC originally had intended to hire um, fell through. Um, he actually retired after this harsh winter. And so I am a little bit behind schedule. I do have a new concrete guy on board, but those are just some of the things that are completed now. On the back side, there's a drawing from the architect. There's some handwritten um, <coughs> changes to that that the architect has to clean up. That was after my plumbing, uh, the plumbing, not the plumbing inspector, sorry, the plumber looked at it. So. But I am just a little behind schedule from the winter. planning on I'd like to think I would like to think the next couple months I mean construction I, I do everything that I can do at this point I mean it's in all the contractors hands so we've been um, behind schedule for some time now Mr. Bear. Well, actually, I've only had the license for six months at this point, and I wouldn't have started construction until I actually had a physical license. So I estimated that I'd be ready by now, but it was just a harsh winter. I mean, it was four months of this winter that we, uh, anytime I wasn't at work, it seemed like I had a snow shovel in my hand. <laughs> and my contractors as well. Let me finish reading this first. Sure. Can you visit 
possible or for you to get us a copy of them. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, it, it is, but there's still the, the restaurant component of it. I need to realize that there was a rest, rest. This is more like a cafe. I mean, there's a bar here, there's seating. I was thought it was, I was under the impression that it was just like a bed and breakfast, and you wanted to be able to serve dinner to the guests oh. for the bed and breakfast. Yes, and well, part of the second approval process as well, it was open to the public as well. So this is contained separate, it's still on all the same property. But all the bedrooms are actually in the main house, and this is the back half of the house that has the, uh, the, the dining and lodging, the, the dining separate from the lodging. His application is here, so you can flip to mm -hmm. the description. Mike, when, when are you going to open this? I thing? thought I thought I was going to be open now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> when are you going to be but, open? Because this has been going on for five years. Um, the legislative process was wow. no, no. But I'm no, saying, I, like, I mean, I had a window of time to submit my application. I did submit it within that time period, and I am under active construction. The things are going on in regards to getting ready to open. So, yes, it does take longer than I expected. Um, but I mean, at this point, I mean, I'm pretty close. Like all that's you know, all the restaurant equipment's purchased, all the restaurant furnishings are purchased. You know, so the. Restaurant component of the B&B is very close. Yeah, well, the porches you don't need right now. The what? The porches you don't need right now to open. Am I correct? What do you mean? You're saying porches? No, restaurant equipment. Oh, you said restaurant, restaurant equipment. Oh, sorry. Purchase. 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 Not, yeah. not porches. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, purchase. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so. You purchased all that already? Mm hmm so when do you plan on opening? I would like to think in a couple of months. I mean, now that the grounds, you know, now the contractors are getting caught back up and the ground's not frozen anymore. Okay. Has the ABC been involved in this? Oh yeah, absolutely. They've been, they've been they, they, over? They've been over the house. They did that when I submitted my application um, for the license for the ship. For the legislative And what did they say? In regards to... Like, the investigator the, when he came <coughs> over. Oh, I mean, he didn't have any issues with... Uh, at that point, I had a similar blueprint to this one and then the license the area that was to be licensed it's not the entire property uh, that's licensed it's just the patios like the bed and breakfast portion the lodging portion is not licensed and the whole building is not licensed it's contained so he's he approved the other application not this application no he approved it's in here he approved the application yeah, the application's approved. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. No, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's the fine. Floor, it's the fine. floor plan. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in my application, he, he received a, a copy of what he had in front of me. Okay. So. You know which investigator was it? Okay. That did that? Just, was it, is it Kelly? Jan. Jan? It was Jan. Yeah. 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 The reason why I'm asking so many questions, Mike, oh, fair enough. Yes. is under Chapter 138, Section 77, okay, um, you've, you've had this thing going for five years, okay? Uh, Kelly, I don't know if you have a copy of, of the law. Yeah, oh, 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 I gave you a copy yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Did you happen to see what the law is on one? No, I haven't. Okay, here's my copy to read. I guess that Okay, I can understand that, but the I actually haven't had a license. I've only had a license for six months. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a license for that five-year time period. That we're discussing. Well, you had the legislative license. That was an act created in the legislation for the city for my address, but I actually haven't had a physical, I've only had a physical license for the last, well, full five months, full mm -hmm. five months now. And that's when I began construction. Okay. So that's when the roof went on, that's when, you know, all the construction began, when I obtained physical. Well, all right, good. And, when, and, and when, I didn't, and when I, were you in here? 
No, I'm I'm not going. Oh. I, I'm going back as my private uh, as yes, yeah. just to let people know I wasn't investigated with the ABC. So mm -hmm. I'm. This is sort of off the question. To, uh, I'm not representing the licensing board. I'm going back to my old job, trying to figure out questions to ask yeah. on this because Absolutely. after the original time where you came in and you got the legislative approval, approval. Correct. Yeah. where you've been sitting on it for that long, right. why well, hasn't anything been done well, since then? That's an honest, honest enough question. I mean, I did have a window of time to apply for that license right. with the legislative license, and I did apply within that time period. I was at the tail end of that time period, but I did apply at, you know, within that window, um, and I mean that, that's another result. So I just didn't want to. I was tied up for a little while. So that's it. Where I am at now, though, it's like since I've obtained the license since the first of the year, I've been actively doing construction of the city. So well, the real announcement is, it seems like every time this it comes up. Is the last time you were here, you were talking about a spring geek. You're going to go because of sprinkler. And now you're in here, you're saying it's the concrete guy. Oh, no, Are we worried no. next time you come in, is it going to say an electrician? No, no, no. I'm saying right now, like, yes, I'm a little behind schedule. It's right. March winter. But I didn't begin construction until this year when I actually had the physical license. Mm -hmm. So um, those. Other issues in the past, yeah, those are in discussion and were issues, but they've been getting remedied. So, and like I said, I didn't have official you know, official blueprint until actually I obtained the license. So. Because the thing is, once that license is issued, correct, it's supposed to be used. Agreed. Yes. Okay. If not, you're like sitting on a pocket license. I, I would agree with you about that. One. Right. Okay. Yeah. So. How can the board allow you to sit on a on a pocket license and not using it? But I've only been sitting on it now for five months. I've been actively in that's for that's months. a half a year. It is half a year. It is a half a year. Yes, it is. And now you're saying that it's going to take another couple months. Uh, another couple of months. Yes. We're talking going on almost a year. So if we if Say we cancel that one, that applicant, that license. Yes. Okay. We turn around and cancel it. How is how is it going to look for us? You to come back in and and say, okay, we'll give you another one. Okay, and then it goes to the ABC, and they're going to say, wait a minute. You cancel the guy one. He's had one. He hasn't used that. We're not going to approve it. Going back to my old days, not just myself, other investigators have mm -hmm. talked to attorneys and, and what so. We tell people just pull back the license and then pull it back yourself and then reapply after. This way here, it doesn't look like you had a license and it was revoked or suspended or canceled. <clears throat> well, if, I, if you I, guys know what I mean. I know what you mean. I'm just saying that it's a legislative license. If we take it back, he's going to have to go through the process all over again. Because it's not our license. It, that's not true. It, that is true. No, it's not. The only thing on the legislative license is the same thing as a regular license here. The only thing on a, on a legislative license, that's just saying you it's can get a license. It's not transferable. So no, it's it not transferable, but right. you still can revoke it. I'm not saying we can't revoke it. Yeah. I'm just saying we revoke it, then he's going to have Oh, I know he can't trans transfer it. I, I understand. I'm, I'm just, all I'm saying is that if we revoked it, which I'm not in favor of doing, um, the license disappears. I'm not saying revoke it. I'm saying cancel it. Okay, then he'd have What's to reapply for another I guess I don't another full-time, a regular license. 
which would be another legislative license. No, it would have to go through, boy, he'd have to go through the process all over again. Right, so canceling it. Because once you, same thing. once you, just because you get a legislative license, mm -hmm. okay, we still have the authority to cancel that. I, I'm not disputing that. No, I know you I'm no. just trying to explain it. Yeah. You have the right to cancel that license. Okay, the reason we're canceling the license is because it's not being used. I, I understand. And then you can reapply. Oh, thank you. I, I was just curious what purpose it would serve, I mean, to cancel it at this point, because as Jason points out, it's a legislative license, not a quota license. I can understand where you're coming from if I'm it's sorry, a quota license. I'm sorry, can you license. just identify yourself? By David Gardner, 13 Plain Street, East Hampton. Okay. Um, so, so if it was a quota license, I can understand, you know, somebody sitting on it because then there might be somebody else who could actually utilize it. This being a legislative license, it only can be used at that address for that purpose, That's period. Right. And if it's if it's revoked or it's canceled, it's gone. So it's not like somebody's waiting in line to use that license, you know, because it can't be used by anybody else. You're cor um, you're correct on that. So I, I'm just curious why, what purpose it would serve. I, I was hearing Mr. Bear say that he he complied with the deadline to apply for the license after the legislative pr process. So he's good there, right? He's totally good with the state. He's got a license. And now yeah, he's he got does license. have a license. It's only been six months, so I'm curious if the portion of law you were referring to, five-year period or three-year period? I think it's three years, right? The, re years. The, the reason I'm bringing this, Dave, is the legislative license, if, I, if I'm correctly, says has to be used within three years. Okay, so he's had it for six months, is what I'm No, no, to say. no, no. He's had that from, from how long? When was that issued? What he's saying, Ray, is he's only had the actual, the license, actual license for now. six months. The process for him to get that license did take the three, the full three years, but he's had the license in hand for only six months. So he's only been doing work on his place for six months. Mm -hmm. The three years before that is, I don't think is really part of it, that he had those three years in order to get the license and he, he adhered to those guidelines. I, I totally agree. Ma'am, you had something to say? Could you yeah. state my your name, name yeah. and address? My name is Lisa Pisco. I live at 130 Cross Path Road in Northampton. I also own Casey's Big Dog Saloon, and I used to own Venus in the Cellar Bar. Um, when I bought uh, the license for the Cellar Bar, um, I bought it in June of 08. We didn't complete construction until uh, June of 09. Um, there were, I had a kind of pre-contractor tie me up for a month, and then my head almost exploded. Um, so there's that, but the other thing was, I had to get the license before I spent a dime on any construction. So before you pay an architect or get your contractors lined up, you have to have that physical license. Michael Bear is one of my best friends and he's one of the best people that I know, period, on this earth. I agree he's with you. He's good with this community. So the question, and I've, I've got $23,000 sunk into this project and a lot of time with him. Um, we're small business people. I'm asking the board to look at this and say, all right, this is going to be a great addition to East Hampton. It's going to be a little smokehouse. It's going to be really fun to go to. And we want to add that to the community. Um, so I would ask the board to really look at it and say, is it sure. that unreasonable? Most of this sure. work. Sure. We don't need Lisa, uh, I, I, yeah, listen, I, mean, I, I just yeah, want to just want want be, want to be yeah. clear, OK? <laughs> We're not looking to revoke the license. Oh, absolutely not. The only thing yes, we're yes, looking we're to do is just to get an update. That's yeah, right. And, and that's what I mean. What was yeah. the restaurant across from Dunkin' Donuts that the board did pull that license? I don't know if you want to call it then. Pollard, yeah. yeah. And I have to be in. It was a pocket license. Yeah, I, and it was. Yeah. I have mm -hmm. to be in the meeting, or they asked me to come in. Karen was then the secretary, but 
and I came to the board and they said, how far along? I said, well, I have some architectural plans in my truck and I left those with the board. They should be still filed somewhere. I do think it's important to have updates, whether it's a legislative license or, or a regular license. Oh, we did the same thing with yeah. the massage um, yeah. school, you know, right. you and, know because they, yeah, they, they were, were in transition. Born, I remember, I remember. They were in transition and we got it. Yeah. And again, yeah. I, just, yeah. I, I can't be more clear that we're not out okay. to revoke the I will say this because I'm a realist and I know, I know what we're we We're just through. looking for an update to make sure that there's it's progress being... He's made. saying two months, I'd like to see him request till the end of August. That way we're not in here saying, oh, oh we'll, we'll could finish that. Yeah. Mike, if, so you, just, if, you, if yeah. you remember right, when, the, when you first came in the door, mm -hmm. I walked right over to your place oh, and you and me walked we walked through the through whole thing when it was in shambles. Yeah. Uh -huh. The house was in shambles when we walked through it back in that yeah. time. Yeah, well, I mean, I went right over there yeah, I did more terrible. so as a friend. Oh, absolutely. And, yeah. and absolutely. That, so I'm not looking to cancel or anything no, no, like that. No, I agree. I understand the duration of time that it's ta taken to expedite. Yeah. Uh, Kelly, I'm do you aware. have any questions? I'm aware. That's it. Please yeah. don't think that. No, okay. yeah. All right. Well. Thank you very much for coming here and yeah. giving us the update. I'll bring in an update too. <laughs> yeah, that'd be super. You know. All right. Very good. Right, perfect. Have a great day. Thank you. And we'll see you again. I mean, well, yes, well. well, hopefully not. <laughs> well, 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 hopefully it's you, know, you guys will be some dinner. Yeah. 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 Oh, you can still cook. That's a prime bread. <laughs> Thank you. See. You. Is there anybody here from Our Lady of the Valley? Okay. Um, Ronnie had just poked his head in. Oh. I, I shoot him away. I know, and I tried to go grab him, um, but he said Morgan Mitchell didn't have the certificate of insurance from the diocese. Okay. Yet, um, I wanted oh, to grab him just... so you could approve it because this event is for um, the picnic. I know. Mm -hmm. Their yearly picnic that they yes. always have, yeah. and that's at the end of June, so we would have to do another meeting. Here we are. We're meeting next week. Do you want me to have? Let's just wait till next week. Yeah. Right. We need next week. Yeah. Okay. So, moving on. Public speak. Doug Russell regarding Fort Hill Brewery licenses. Is there a Doug Russell here? He's not here. He's not here. I don't know if he knows me. Oh, he, he absolutely knew. He's the one who requested yeah. to be on the agenda. Okay. He should be done here. Apparently not. Tell him he can come next week. Oh, if he calls. I would go after him. What day next week is the Monday, same time, same place. Okay. Would you like to speak in regards to it? I'm assuming you're here for the same reason that Doug Russell was supposed to be here. I think I'll give him a call and let him come and say what he has to say. Okay, okay. Well, you talk to him, tell him it's going to be next Monday. Five o'clock. Okay. All right. So moving on. We make a motion that we approve the minutes for the May fourth, two thousand fifteen, and May eighteenth, two thousand fifteen meetings. I approve that. I second that. In favor. Aye. 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 Jason, you still hockey? Oh, oh. Yes, of course. You don't know who I am. I don't. I heard of your dad today. Donnie Emerson's mom. Oh, hi, hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Should good. Good. I haven't seen you for a while. Long time. I know. You should Donnie see you. Let's run away. Yeah. To the warm her, weather. Her and her house game. Yeah. Donnie was our best man at her wedding. Okay. Yeah. All right. And Nikki. Nikki. Jim's wife. Right. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's yeah. Small world. Take care. Small world. Small town. You too. <laughs> you still live in Kent? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't see anybody in town anymore. Well, let's run away to Ruby. You and me, the hell with you. All right, let's go. Let's right. go. I quit the board. <laughs> Can't wait to get away from Corey. <laughs> now, is your dad finally retired? No, not really. He still no. works part time. Right. Just to yell at us. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. All right. See you guys. Good say it. I'll make a motion that we close these public hearings for today. I second. Okay. Okay. Shut that off. You know how to do it.